And so our pirates are facing down this questline warlock. Dirty rat pulling Benedictus onto the board. And at 21 health, our opponent decides to concede. Fantastic! Benedictus just too powerful! Okay, what deck am I playing today? This is Goku's Agro Priest. Now, a few days ago, I published a video on Boltzmann's Agro Priest. It was a lot of fun to play that deck, had success with it. Boltzmann did note that the deck probably needed a little bit of refinement. So since then, I've been scouring the internet, scouring Twitch and Reddit and Twitter, looking for different builds of Aggro Priest. And I came across a tweet by Sinister Me, who I've also featured videos on in the past for decks that he has played, but Sinister Me got to Legend on the NA server from Diamond 5 to Legend utilising this list here which originated from Goku. And Goku, for those of you that don't know, is an incredibly successful Twitch streamer for Wild Mode, plays at High Legend, very skillful, super cool dude. And I played this deck, and I got to Legend. Seven wins, zero losses. Not a huge sample size of games, but I just kept winning with it. And compared to the Boltzmann deck that I played a few days ago, uh, the Boltzmann deck had Thrive in the Shadows and Shadow Visions. This version of Aggro Priest does not run either of those two spells. And instead, it has Void Shard, which looks like a very interesting spell. Four cost, life steal, deal four damage. But this can hit face, which is quite critical. And I found to be quite good at finishing your opponent off. This deck does still run the Pirate Package, which is highly entertaining, can get you a super wide board early on that can just push a lot of damage which then allows you to finish your opponent off with Mind Blast and your hero power towards the end of the game. Okay. Let's have a look then at our first game. So it's time for Pirates. We're getting our wide board here. Now it's usually good to follow up the pirates with Void Touched Attendant. Because now both heroes will take one extra damage from all sources once we play the attendant. So, Shadow Bomber, which would normally do three damage, now does four, which is excellent. The pirates also doing one extra damage. I'm going to value trade. Now, if they cannot kill this attendant, it could just be responsible for us winning the game. No, of course, they always have Spirit Bomb. Now, this Warlock is trying to complete their quest lines here. The trick will be to kill them before they get to the end. So, can we do it? Can we kill them? before they complete their quest line and kill us. Shadowed Spirit. Now this is another card that is different comparative to the Boltzmann version of Agro Priest that I played a few days ago. This is a different inclusion and I really like this. I really, really like this card. It's just more damage to your opponent's face, can act as a finisher, if the death rattle gets propped. So, this is it. The game is over. Unless they get healing, once this minion dies, 
the Shattered Spirit will deal three damage, and, well, that three damage would kill them. So, yeah, there we go. A great finisher for the game. Okay. Hunter time. I will light the way. Now, hunters can complete their quest very, very quickly and then burst you down, comboing their hero power with cheap spells and then being able to repeat their hero power. Of course, we get patches in hand, and usually patches in hand would be a really bad omen. Usually means you're going to lose the game. But let's see how we fare here. So we have two copies what is it? What of the is peasant it? in this deck. This is also something not present in the Boltzmann version that I played a few days ago. So yeah, I like the peasants. Two attack, so they can be quite aggressive. They can push damage to the face. And they draw you extra card, which is quite nice. So, one of our peasants dies a horrible, gruesome death here. That's fine. That is fine. One survives. So we get at least one extra card here. And I like this card draw. I really do. It's just more resources. Uh, it keeps our hand fueled up with stuff that we can play. This is good. So... Let's see if this peasant can survive a little bit longer. No. Okay. That's fine. I suspect this matchup could become a bit of a race. A race of hero powers, in essence. Their hero power versus mine could be what it comes down to. The Do they play weapons in their deck? We've got the Corsair in hand. Maybe something to think about for the future. So at the moment it looks like I'm winning the race, at least in terms of damage. Although that secret perhaps is explosive trap. Hmm. Praise the twilight. Oh dear. Okay. We lose our board. That is actually unfortunate. The bits of chip damage that those minions are doing, it all adds up. Okay. So focusing on that face, doing the damage that we need to do. They're down to 17. We still have a ways to go, but we are getting there. Oh dear. Making progress with their quest line. There's the deck hand. Hmm. This deck does not run the priest weapon. So thinking back to the Boltzmann deck, which ran um, the Shadowcloth Needle is what it was called. There is no needle in this deck, which is a shame because with the needle your deck hand gets charged, which was really cute. Dear, that's a 7-7. Seven, seven. That's going to hit my face, and it is going to hurt. So is this hunter going to win the race? We're at 21, but they have a 7-7 seven, seven on the board. Do we need to kill that? <laughs> it's the question. No. We're just going to target the face. Hmm. 
We'll hold on to the raised dead for the time being. What could raised dead give us, I think, is the question. Are they going to target the minion? Or are they just going to hit my face? Assume that is another explosive. Okay, target the minion because they want the hero power generation. Fair enough. Seven to the face. Ouch. Now we have the attendant. So raise dead hopefully would give us a shadow bomber here. If memory serves correct, looking at the deck list on the right hand side. There it is, shadow bomber. So. We want to test that secret. Oh wow, it is snipe. Thank goodness we tested. Because now, with the attendant, we have lethal. We won the race. How unfortunate for my opponent. We got there in time. Okay, joining this game in progress against a mage. Our pirates are on board. Our attendant is on board. So, we've got to assume it's Ice Block. Wait, I should I have ordered that differently? In the void. To put them down to one. Not that it matters. My hero power does two. So I think as long as they're down to two, it's fine. Even if our board gets wiped. Flame Waker! And a second one! Oh, this is going to be entertaining. Because... Look at our board. We have a Shattered Spirit on the board. If it dies, Death Rattle is deal three damage to the enemy hero. And... It did. Wow. How unfortunate for my opponent. Nemzi. Let's have some fun. Another Warlock. Like the way. Now I like the look of this hand. Deckhand, Brigand, Shadow Bomber. This is nice. We'll be able to get three pirates onto the board on turn one with patches. Oh, my goodness. Four pirates on the board. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. And that's just even better. This is absolutely nuts. The dream starts early on. It's only turn two. How do they come back from this? They don't. How? Unfortunate for my opponent that I got this dream start. Next game is another warlock. I will like the so, do we keep the fell wing? Here's the question. It does combo somewhat with the Shadow Bomber. Playing the Shadow Bomber makes the Felwing cost one. I'm going to keep it. I don't know if that was correct. Possibly wasn't. Because I can't combo the two of these on turn one. Because the Felwing won't cost zero. The Shadow engulfs us. Yeah. But I can utilize it on a future turn. So we'll we'll see how we go. Maybe on turn two. So turn two, we attack face with the minion, we hero power, and then we can play the Felwing. 
This is fine, and this is good pressure. Meanwhile, look at what is in our hand. We're going to follow this up with two shadowed spirits. Now you've already seen the work that this card can do. It's been a good finisher for us. It's one of those cards that you don't want to kill. If you kill it, you take three damage. If you don't kill it, uh, the minion itself does fall to your face. Exercising uh, a little bit of board control there. I think that's important. Oh, here we go. Dark Blair. You hate to see it. But if they're going to keep damaging themselves, they're going to be hastening their own demise, hopefully. Oh, wow! Plague of Flames! They were desperate to get rid of our board. Hmm... This is awkward. We cannot combo the hero power with the Shattered Spirit. <laughs> There's Patches again. He's in charge. At the very least, you know, this Shattered Spirit is going to do three damage to their face when it dies. At the very most, could be dealing four to their face, maybe on more than one turn, as well as the Death Rattle of three damage, so pretty good. You can tell I'm, I'm very high on this card, Shattered Spirit. I'm a big fan of it I in this deck. Impressed. We're making our opponent think. Come on, Warlock. What have you got? You're going to tap? They're tapping. Down to 11. Don't care about your giant. I do not care. Because you're dead. Wow. Turn five. Wow. And there's Legend on day eight of the season. Feels really, really good. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Agro Priest, the deck list, courtesy of Goku, and thank you to Sinister Me for making me aware of this deck. This is very different to the Boltzmann deck that I played uh, a few days ago. The inclusions of Void Shards, the inclusions of Shadowed Spirits, uh, has really been a difference maker for me in this deck. Shadow Visions and Thrive in the Shadows has been removed. I think Boltzmann had predicted that they would disappear. So, a really effective deck, getting me those seven straight wins. Now, since I started playing this deck, I'm aware that there's been further refinements to the deck. Goku has been playing, I think, a different version on his stream with uh, Mind Render Elucia. So, the deck continues to evolve, so if you are playing Agro Priest, please remember that there are other versions out there. Please search on Reddit, on Twitch, on Twitter, on the internet, and look at the different versions of the deck. The fact that there are multiple versions does mean that people are putting a lot of thought into this, and it may well be another week, another two weeks, or longer, until we settle on uh, what is considered to be a refined, a truly refined version of the deck. But 
there's also likely to be some balance changes on the way. I know that Blizzard are having a meeting this week to discuss balance changes, so let's see what comes of that and see how that impacts the meta. So thank you very much for joining me everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you all again very soon for more Wild Mode fun. Until next time, please stay safe, please look after yourselves, and as always, please be good to one another.